Good morning, guys. So, I had to change my route today. We got a storm coming in. Uh, supposed to hit pretty hard. This was my last delivery of the day, drywall. And this was my only real delivery today. Uh, that was uh, probably not going to get delivered if it was raining. So I moved this to my first delivery. Um, so this guy can get here. He's on his way now and get his drywall in before it rains so they can get their project started this weekend. So this was already scheduled for an unattended drop, so I knew right away this morning. It was at my home store. It was my best option anyways to make my route faster and to help this guy out. Uh, so he actually gets his delivery and get it dry. This was the best way to do this. So I'm gonna drop it up here by the uh, garage for him. pretty good here in Southern California and I'm out in the desert but uh, it's already been raining in the Inland Empire towards LA The other thing is the road to uh, Desert Hot Springs from Palm Springs, whenever it rains, there's two main roads coming to Desert Hot Springs, and uh, they shut down. Uh, it's like a uh, flood channel. Uh, the roads cross. So you'll have, basically, have to go to another city, like Cathedral City, to get into Palm Springs. So this could have been a, a big problem later in the day besides the fact that the stores out here don't carry bags to wrap the drywall. So it just it was a delivery that just wouldn't even have got done today if I didn't do it this way. So basically just helping the customer out. It's not saving me any time. Um, I could have been a jerk and be like, oh, I'll get out of the delivery today, but that's not what I do. I like to keep my deliveries uh, moving and uh, keep my area from getting backed up. Because when you're out where I am, kind of on an island away from a bunch of other trucks, if you don't get your deliveries done, well, they just start stacking up on you. And a lot of other markets, guys will make excuses to uh, not do deliveries to just hope somebody else will have to deal with it later. But I don't like to do business that way. It doesn't look good. All right, first stack drop. When you're dropping and stacking these drywalls, get your uh, get your your stickers like the drywall stickers. Get them sideways so you got more room when you're pulling out of the drywall so you don't clip it. Especially some of the older uh, older Moffat, your your forks will be off center. So I got one more stack here. And then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this stack and then put the lightweight on top of it 
So what they'll do is they'll open the garage and work from the inside there. They'll just flip them down and in. And then they'll just have to come to, uh, a little bit farther to get to this stack. Obviously he's not here, so I'm just gonna do it as best as I see fit for uh, how I'd want it done. He's going to need to hurry up and get out of here before this rain hits. It said 50% chance rain start of the week, but it's, uh, <clears throat> it's looking pretty good out here. One more drop. Now this house uh, also being an unattended, it's uh, obviously a vacant house. You can see it's boarded up. Uh, there's no mailbox, no address. So when you're doing an unattended, make sure you get on satellite view and uh, make sure that uh, when you go on satellite view, a lot of times it'll put the number right on top of the house. So you'll know you're at the right house. So I am right on at the right place. Usually it's pretty obvious where you're going to be delivering, but you never know. All right, last drop and we're done. Again, just watching my forks as I come out. I don't want to create any more damage. There we go. Four bunks of drywall. Did that in about uh, eight minutes. And you can get out here and get that in. So that's it to start the day. Hopefully, everything else I get is uh, either going to be wrapped well or not product I have to worry about uh, getting wet because it can start getting wet here if I don't hurry. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Give me a like, give me a comment, and I'll talk to y'all later.